Hello dear watch freaks and welcome back to my channel the Ohrenbox aka the watch box and today we're gonna review the San Martin Vintage Diver. I waited so long for this watch and it came after two long months. It gave me really habits. <laughs> so let's go and start the review. So dear friends, let's do the review. But before we start, I want to brief again on the scope of delivery because I really love that from San Martin. You get a brochure and a stamped and handwritten warranty card. That's not a normal thing. Like I say always, that's a privilege. You also get two screwdrivers you need them to adjust your bracelet glue here to fix those links that's all about but i really love to mention it because it's really worth all right so then let's do the review from this beauty and if you guys are looking for a watch winder go in the description and check out my link to watchwindersmall.com you will get a coupon there where you can get an extra 15 percent off with my code and i get a little commission from Watchwinder if you buy one. Thanks for supporting this channel and let's get started. The reference number 6200 from Rolex is really interesting because it has a stainless steel bracelet which Tudor uses today. And the watch was introduced in 1954 at the Basel World but was made in a small numbers so it's a really rare version. Interesting is also if you look on the dial on that particular version, you see the numbers at 3, 6 and 9 like the Rolex Explorer. Uh, go to Google and Google yourselves please because I saw one or two reviews where the link to the 6200 is a wrong watch which they have mentioned so check out by yourselves and you will see there is another one which this watch tries to be a homage to if you found that watch then you will see it's a mix about Submariner, Explorer and the Black Bay all in a 37 millimeter case and very well known for his large crown. So much for the role model of this watch. Let's get into the review and look closer to the watch. According to the manufacturer San Martin, this watch has 38 millimeter diameter but that's a little bit wrong. The case has 38 millimeters, but if you measure the watch on top, you get 39 millimeters. So the bezel is outstanding a little bit. As you can see here, it's nothing bad because you have a better grip to move the bezel. If it would be 38 like the case itself, it would be a pain to operate the bezel so that's a cool thing that they have increased it for one millimeter to get a better operation on this watch we have a height of 13 millimeter and also here san martin done a magic uh, normal watches with the nh35 has approximately 13.5 five millimeters so they saved 0.5 millimeter on this watch and that's a really great 
think this suits the watch very well. The lock to lock distance is 46 millimeters, but the male end links here on the bracelet brings the watch up to 52 millimeters. So keep that in mind if you want to buy one. It's a small watch, but the end links are standing really out. The lock width is 20 mil and the bracelet tapers down to 16 millimeters and goes up to 18 millimeters at the glass. Really nice numbers for this watch. The case, bracelet and glass, also the case back is made of 316L stainless steel. The bezel insert is of course ceramic and as glass we have a beautiful domed sapphire crystal which looks just fantastic and rounds the vintage feeling of this watch completely. The loom on this watch is Swiss C3 Superluminova and as a movement, once again, the Seiko NH35A automatic movement with 24 juice, 21,600 beats per hour and approximately 41 hours of power reserve. The case is beautifully brushed, no sharp edges in my version and we have a beautiful polished surface on top here which is beginning with a small one and is getting thicker to the lax and it looks just fantastic. Really really well made. The case there is nothing which I can say is bad about. The brushing is really, really perfectly done. The polishing area here is very well done. This watch looks just gorgeous. And the next highlight, you guess it. And yes, it's the bracelet once again. San Martin makes the best bracelets on the Chinese market. I would also say on the Japanese market and maybe they will also kill someday the Swiss mark. The bracelet is really fantastic. I don't know how they did it, but you have an oyster style bracelet, but it feels like a Jubilee bracelet on your wrist. It's really freaking awesome what they did. The clasp is also very well made. I really love it personally. It's not so thick and it works perfectly in the bracelet. But you guys know from other reviews that San Martin make a small mistake on the clasp or on the bracelet, how you will look. You can't use the last two micro adjustments over here because otherwise this screw will block on the glass. But here the hammer, this company is really serious in what they are doing. So they have a solution for this problem and every buyer will get a link sent which has a flat screw and that link will go inside the clasp so you can use all the micro adjustments there. Every buyer gets one for free from a Chinese manufacturer. This is insane, insane good service and it earns respect. So uh, because I think admitting a mistake is a really honorable virtue. The bracelet is not as massive as the Submariner V3. The review you can check over here. I link it there. But it's very well made, like I said before. And if they have used that bracelet for this watch, it wouldn't work because the watch is smaller, it's also thinner. And if you give that thick bracelet on this watch, it wouldn't look good, I think. In the end, the clasp is very well made. I really love it and hopefully they will do a sub V4 with this clasp that will look just freaking awesome. I'm waiting for a sub V3 
for because I hope they go for the PT5000 or SV200 like Kronos and bring that sub without a date frame. That's the only reason I don't bought the Kronos version. Looks fantastic and I think it feels also good, but come on, a date frame with a magnifier, it looks just bad. Yeah, but back to the watch. Crazy good what San Martin has done here. Overall, the case bag is just blank in Rolex style. I don't like that. San Martin should really do their logo or some informations on that case bags. It would look so much better, I think. On the time grapher, we got in two positions also two different time scores. So first one was just with plus 10 seconds. On the second position we had in the beginning plus 4 seconds a day and if you let the watch sit a while it goes to 0 seconds a day. Like I always say it depends always how the watch is hold. So the watch will never sit 24 hours in one position so it's important to see how the watch performs in various situations in various positions so if you adjust a watch the movement you should adjust it around plus minus 10 seconds a day so that's the best point i think where you get a good movement with good timing on the front side we have a rotating dive bezel with 120 clicks and almost no back play here. I do really like the workmanship on the bezel again and again. And if you saw the macros, it's just awesome. This bezel has a really good workmanship. The engravings is really, really crisp and the printing is also very awesome. I also like these clicks, they are just so satisfying and here you can hear yourself. I think those clicks are even better or more crisp than the Sub V3 and that one was freaking awesome but this one is I think a little bit better. What do you guys think? think is it good enough for us watch freaks let me know in the comments please on the 12th we find the sun martin writing in script this is to underline the vintage feeling of course but i would rather have the applied logo in yellow gold that would be my personal taste on the 6th we find the lettering with automatic and one with 200 meters which stands of course for the water resistance the print on the dial is beautiful and flawless and super sharp exactly as well as the minute indexes at the edges as well as the hour indexes here you can have a loom shot the hour indexes the hour indexes are full of c3 swiss made super luminova and yeah if the watch got enough daylight over the day you can enjoy a good readable watch in the mornings yeah we have luckily no date window on this uh, version and i really love it because it's so harmonious and so balanced it looks fantastic my one grail watch is the sub no date it's an awesome watch which looks fantastic the only thing here i wish san martin would have at least built the NH38 in this watch. Don't mi misunderstand me because it's the same movement in the end but if you go over here the NH35A has a date wheel so in the first position there happens nothing because there's the date wheel which is still inside so we have a ghost position there. It's not so 
bad, yeah, but I think if you have a watch for 200 euros, it should be possible to get a movement which is also made for this kind of watches. Like I said, it's not a deal breaker, but it could be so much better. The crown has the shark logo, which I really welcome warmly. It looks fantastic and yeah overall this watch is really really great but let's go to the cargo score so for the quality of workmanship there i give a 7 out of 10 for the technical attributes a 7 out of 10 the appearance also a 7 out of 10 and the price performance still gets a 7 out of 10 10. So the big question here is, will I keep this watch in my collection? And the answer is no, because the watch is a little bit too small for my taste. This watch is really well made. The bracelet, the case and everything. This watch is really top notch, but it's too small for my arms. So that's the only reason I'm giving it away and the new owner will be really happy with it, I think. That's the case and yeah, I ordered the GMT version vintage. It has 14.5 millimeters, so it's more like the Sub V3 in dimensions. So I'm really excited to get that watch and that's for all now. If you have any questions, so go downstairs in the comment section and ask me. I will answer you every question you are asking. So guys, stay healthy and keep watching and tuning in. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.